What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Josh Elkin and today I'm combining two of my favorite things. That is a bagel wax and cream cheese and a hot dog. And before you get all grossed out and say that that's a bad idea, let's just jump into the recipe. And for this recipe, we're making two different styles of onions. The first one is gonna be pickled onions and then later we're gonna make fried onions. For the pickled onions, I'm combining not one, but two different styles of vinegar in this pot with some water, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. We're gonna bring it to a boil and then add it to a mason jar filled with sliced red onions. Now this procedure that we're doing right here is called a quick pickle and I'm just gonna keep it in the mason jar, uncover it until it's time to drain it from the liquid and add it to the hot dog. Now moving on to the potatoes because you can't really have breakfast without breakfast potatoes. And because I wanted to do something a little bit different, I'm making sweet potato breakfast style potatoes. And I'm making them the exact same way that I would regular breakfast potatoes, except I'm adding a little bit of flair and that is seasoning them with everything bagel seasoning. But we're not there yet. The first thing you gotta do with breakfast potatoes is bring them to a boil, soften them a little because you want the inside to be soft, you want the outside to get crunchy. Now for the crunch, I'm gonna add them to a frying pan with some butter and a little bit of olive. Work on making that everything bagel seasoning, which by the way, you can buy already made at the grocery store, but if you don't want to, it consists of sesame seed, poppy seeds, garlic, onion, and some coarse salt. Okay, now that we got that set aside, I'm gonna make a dill spread. Now this is gonna consist of some room temperature cream cheese, all right? And a little bit of sour cream. We're gonna mix it up so it becomes a spreadable consistency. Not only is it spreadable, but I'm actually putting this in a squeeze bottle because for a hot dog, I feel like using a squeeze bottle is more common. And to get that squeeze bottle consistency, yes, this is a actual culinary term. I'm softening the cream cheese and the sour cream with not only some lemon juice, but also some olive oil. Okay, now that that's done, back to the sweet potatoes. They're done cooking. And as soon as they're done cooking, while they're still hot, I'm gonna toss them in the everything bagel season. They look great, they taste great, and now they're done, I'm gonna set them aside. Okay, on to the second onion element of this recipe, and that is the fried onions. Now in this frying pan, I'm using a high smoking point oil, such as canola, or in this case, some vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna work on my dredging station. So in one bowl, I have some buttermilk, and in the other bowl, some flour mixed with some everything bagel seasoning. I'm using a different onion for the fried onions, so I'm slicing up some white onions or some Spanish onions super thin, and adding them to the buttermilk to sit for a little bit. Now, while the onions sit in the buttermilk and the oil reaches the temperature for frying, I'm gonna make the everything bagel hot dog buns. Now, in this case, I'm using sesame seed buns, and I'm painting them with a little bit of an egg wash so that we can sprinkle the everything seasoning on top, bake them, and that way the everything bagel seasoning will stick to the hot dog bun. Now here's the deal, you already have your everything bagel seasoning. You don't have to use sesame seed buns. You could use regular plain buns and proceed the exact same way. Okay, back to the onions. You wanna take the onions out of the buttermilk, let it drip off, and then coat them completely in the flour mixture. Once the onions are fully coated in the flour mixture, you wanna transfer them to the hot oil and fry them for a few minutes until they become golden brown and crispy. Take them out of the oil, put them on a paper towel, and then season them with salt right away. Oh, we're so close. The last cooking element of this recipe is frying the hot dogs. Now in this case, I'm using my favorite hot dog and that is Hebrew National. Once the hot dogs are fully cooked, I'm gonna wrap them in smoked salmon. So I'm laying out some smoked salmon on a flat surface and then literally just rolling up these hot dogs in that smoked salmon. Adding each one to the everything bagel hot dog and coating it in our dill spread. On one of the hot dogs, I'm adding a generous amount of the fried onions. Don't be shy. This is the real crispy element to this hot dog. And on the other hot dog, I'm making sure to drain the pickled onions and I'm adding a generous amount of the pickled onions onto the next one. Garnishing both these hot dogs in some extra chopped dill and there you have it. Whoa. Not one, but two different styles of everything bagel hot dogs. One with pickled onions, one with fried onions. In case I wanna go on a journey of crispiness or I wanna go on a journey of sourness. And then to bring it all together, everything bagel sweet potatoes. With the combination of the pickled onions and the cream cheese mixture and the texture of the smoked salmon, it really feels like I'm eating an everything bagel with a hot dog on top of it. Do you want to experience the same thing that I'm experiencing? Well, you can check out the link in the description down below and hit up recipechampions.com, which is my website that I publish all my recipes at. If you're not already subbed to this channel, go ahead and hit that sub button, turn on notifications because I put out a new recipe every single week. I got this whole hot dog to eat. I got a whole other one to eat. And I'm super pumped.
拜。